Annyeong! Welcome to Delightful! It's been some time since we've repainted a figurine. After rearranging the studio, I rediscovered my Tokidoki figurines and smaller toy collection. I'm in the mood for a quick and colorful project, and found the perfect candidate. This is La Katrina from a Happy Halloween blind box series by Tokidoki. A super cute Dia de Muertos Sugar Skull Unicorno for sure. As always, it's not that I don't like the original, it's just that I want to cover everything in rainbows and there's no escaping that. So to get started, I pry off the star accessory in her hair. Then coat the whole figurine in white gesso primer. Because I'm covering up a black base, it takes about four coats of gesso to fully disappear. There we go, a completely blank canvas. To be honest, the unicornos look very pretty like this, don't they? Sort of have a modern minimalist decor kind of vibe. But we all know that's not gonna last. Here's a sketch I whipped up while the gesso was drawing. You can see I considered a more structured fruit-themed design before caving into my instinctual rainbow chaos aesthetic. Taking my fluorescent acrylic paints, I dab on one color at a time without much rhyme or reason. I was basically just enjoying the painting process and letting my eyes drink in that ridiculous saturation. It's really a shame you can't see this in real life to get a sense of the fluorescent paint. Even after color correcting this footage, nothing can match the eye stinging brightness of looking at the actual paint. The purple went on very dark and I thought it might have been a mistake, but I managed to blend it into the surrounding colors with blue and magenta later, so it turns out alright. Because of the unicorno's round heads, I was suddenly reminded of those tie-dye egg kits my family used to do during Easter. Similar looking result, I guess. Could you imagine how cute a line of Easter-themed Tokidoki unicornos would be? <laughs> Maybe they've already done that, I don't know. The white base helps the colors appear backlit and bright, but even so, it took about three coats of each color to build up the saturation to 100%. Ta-da! I already love this. Let's fill in the details with white. This includes the ears, horn, little hooves, and wingtip accents, why not? I'd say the eyes are the hardest part of these little guys. Placement is key. Using an unaltered figurine for reference, I hesitantly dab on the eye placement. And then the other side. Looks like they're not quite evenly placed. They're a bit derpy if you look at her head on, but it's not too bad. To seal the deal, take your bottle of matte varnish, shake it up, and cut the varnish with water to thin it out. Apply two coats to the customized toy, being sure to wait the suggested 30 minutes in between layers. I waited longer because it's so humid right now, it seems like nothing is ever fully dry. Cute! Now to fill in that hole with an accessory. I've amassed some trinkets and doodads over the years, but nothing seems quite right. I tried a white bow and bead combination, but decided I didn't like that either. Maybe she doesn't need a head accessory, I thought, so I filled in the hole with hot glue and patched the paint job. But then I found this tiny watermelon slice. With a brighter neon paint job to match our unicorno, it's the perfect touch for this summery, colorful character to have. And with that, we're done! I love the summer pool party vibes I'm getting from this repaint. She almost looks like she could be an inflatable pool float or something. So bright and tropical. Oh, I wish I could go on vacation. It really wasn't that long ago I took a trip to the beach, but it's never enough, is it? I made this unicorno thinking she could be a companion for my tie, but I actually think she matches our decor of fashion girl Cami much better.
My favorite detail of this custom? She may be rainbow-tastic, but we all know that on the inside, she's a hardcore goth. Thank you so much for watching, guys! I hope you're having fun and staying safe this summer. Stay artsy! Annyeong!